Meet the Philips Hue Iris. It's one of the prettiest and most artistic fixtures Hue has ever made, and it's been revamped with more power and abilities. Philips Hue sent over the Iris for me to test out, but they've had no role in me writing this review. The original Iris was released six years ago, and it was the first bulb Hue made that was meant to shine light on the wall for indirect light. Since then, they've released a bunch of fixtures which follow this trend, many of which I've already explored on this channel. The new Iris brings Bluetooth support, is twice as bright at 570 lumens, and has richer colors. It's not meant to light up the room. It's meant for setting the mood while looking absolutely stunning and subtle in the process. I've thrown links to the Iris and anything else I bring up in this review in the description and their affiliate links, so it helps support my channel when you purchase through those. Let's do this. Before we get started, I want to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, PDF Element. PDF Element is an all-in-one smart PDF editor available on Mac, Windows, iOS, and Android devices, and it's a much cheaper alternative to Adobe Acrobat. It will scan and convert PDFs, giving you full control to edit, rearrange, annotate, and sign documents on any device. You've also got access to a swath of tools, from batch changing the backgrounds, look, it's me, on every page, adding watermarks, and a lot more. You can also convert your PDFs to any other type of file. Just go to File, Export To, I'm gonna choose Pages, because I'm using a Mac. I'm gonna save that, open that up, and edit it in Pages. For a free download and free trial of PDF Element, make sure you check out those links in the description. Back to the video. The Iris sports a white frame and translucent outer casing. The outer case is made of plastic, so when you pick it up, it doesn't feel as premium as you'd expect it to for its price, but it's also nice to know that if you drop it on the floor, it's not gonna shatter because it's not glass. It's also a bit smaller than I expected, at just eight inches tall and seven inches wide. It also comes in this mysterious black version, as well as these for limited edition metallic versions that are absolutely stunning. I like to call them the limited locations irises because you can only get them in Europe, for now. I did speak to Giorgiani, the head of tech and co-founder of Philips Hue, and he said that there was a lot of hype over them and maybe there's a possibility of them coming to the US, who knows, hopefully. Its six and a half foot cord is covered with a threaded material. It's connected to a large power brick which hopefully won't block off space by your outlets. This iteration now has a more translucent backing which diffuses the light and glows out the back. Anywhere you set it, it will light up the area differently and the objects and surfaces will reflect the light. Like I said earlier, this is a mood light and it can dim below 1%. These low levels look really great in the corner when you're watching a movie or wake up and sleep automations where the lights fade up and down. The Iris now has Bluetooth support, which means day one, you'll be able to control this light with just the Philips Hue Bluetooth app. You won't need a Hue bridge. This will allow you to change the colors, build routines, as well as connect it to your voice assistants. The downside is you're limited to one room and 10 lights. So more often than not, I recommend getting that Philips Hue bridge so that way you can connect up to 50 lights, create a bunch of rooms and zones and have so much more functionality. Let's compare it to a couple other fixtures, the Hugo and the Bloom. The Bloom shines at 500 lumens. The Hugo shines at 520 lumens compared to the 570 lumens on the Iris. The Hugo is an incredible traveling companion. I've taken it on road trips, camping, and it's amazing. But if you're looking for a light that's going to stick in your home, then I'd say go with the Iris because it's much more pleasing to the eye and creates a very unique look. If you want a light that is all about design and can dim ridiculously low, then this is the light for you. The price is a bit steep at $99, but with that light, you're getting a well-built and intuitive app with consistent software updates. You'll also have the ability to sync your lights to the TV with the HDMI sync box or with music using a third-party app like iConnect Hue. 
If you don't really care about the look of the light and just want that functionality of having light up against the wall, then maybe you should consider the Hugo. I put links to that and the Iris in the description below. As always, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and make sure you subscribe, click that bell for alerts. That way you know when my videos drop because I have so much coming for you. Until then, be sure to check out my other smart home videos right there and there. I'm Justin and I'll tech you later. Let's go. Let's light up this review. Let's turn this review on. Now don't Hugo anywhere. Now, hey, Phil. No, I'm not doing that.